Hello everyone, how are you? This is yours truly, Tech Gear Guy, coming at you once again. And today we are going to take a look at Lenovo Gaming Desktop that is quite portable. Let's talk about it. Alright, so let's uh, start with the dimensions. So this thing is about 14, no, about, yeah, about 14 inches deep and about nine and a quarter wide and about... 10 inches tall so it's quite portable it almost looks like some kind of an air fryer um, has a nice sturdy handle on top so it's quite portable so you know if you're into gaming and you know you remember the days of world of warcraft the counter-strike and diablo 2 what have you you've been to land parties where you're lugging around your full-size atx or even micro atx case uh, fully decked out at the time and it was not a quite an easy task so you know fast forward to 2019 we've come across a lot of gaming laptops like the ones that i've uh, reviewed on this channel like the msi radions and stealth i talked about hp omen i talked about the very last video actually was done on a lenovo y7000 gaming laptop which was so close from being the one in terms of a price per uh, the performance per price ratio the portability the value and everything it was so close and yet i felt the thermal management was a bit of a problem as the fans were kicking in a little too often and they were not quiet so i walked away with a bit of a, a wanting more that said when you talk about gaming desktops now you're talking about full blown you know atx size granted they would have a you know better cooling a room for expansion capability whether you want to do sli like a two display cards or you want to deck out with the drives inside making a, uh, a making an array you know all kinds of things are possible and sometimes you get uh, you know look over function where the case is designed for gamer crowd and they would have the weird shape rgb lights just going and you know it doesn't quite suit everybody's needs and they're not as portable as one would like that said the lenovo gives you this cube looking thing one of my very favorite things about this uh, computer is actually its external case so the case size which i uh, shared with you earlier very manageable and i think things are laid out very well you have the acrylic top window a little bit of a grunt every time i have to lift it a little uh, acrylic top window that shows you the uh, red hue lighting that comes on when you turn the computer on and power button located right here right up at the top and the front bezel very understated lesion logo and the logo lights up when in operation and um, when we look at the back side of this you will see uh, the vent the power supply uh, plenty of ports on the back the geforce 1060 on board gives you dvi display port hdmi display port display port so full array of output methods the computer itself is extremely user friendly in that both the side panels come off and the front bezel comes off as well and you are able to change out the video card if you need. So this here in January 2019 is priced slightly above $1,100. This is a spec with Core i7-8700 hex core CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and aforementioned uh nvidia geforce 1060 there's another variant of this which gives you exact same everything but the video card would be nvidia geforce 1050 so it's a bit of downgrade but giving you 128 gigabyte of a solid state drive instead of what this one has which is the one terabyte 7200 rpm drive so you at the same price point you make a decision do i opt for a little bit better video card but without solid state or take a solid state 128 gigabyte of solid state drive for putting the applications and os on and uh, take a little bit of a lesser of a video card 
So there you go. And so this being a gaming computer, we must talk about gaming performance. January 2019, we're still talking Fortnite, uh, PUBG, maybe other uh, first person shooter games. So in case of a Fortnite, everything jacked, everything at a high quality. There is no loss of frame. The, the gameplay is very smooth. So, you know, at $1,100 price point, you are getting something that's already made full warranty by Lenovo and um, well cooled by the way uh, unlike the counterpart laptop model of um, Lenovo Legion the when even even with the generic factory fans inside operation is deadly silent even when the fans do kick in so if you are if you're a type to tinker, you could definitely uh, take out the CP generic CPU cooler and the um, exhaust that's blowing air outside. Uh, things like that could be done and as well as the, uh, the, the front fans and whatnot to make it even more silent. So gaming performance, absolutely gorgeous. And obviously, you know, we could talk about benchmarks and uh, if you are a regular subscriber of my tech channel here, you know, I don't really like talking about benchmarks even though I do provide all the numbers for you. And cue the benchmark number. So even with the benchmark numbers provided, I don't really like talking about because you know those are some just random numbers that you may not be able to make sense out of even when you're comparing one computer with another. So I always uh, put somewhat of a em emphasis on perceived performance and when you are doing your day-to-day -day work that's outside of video games, all the productivity work, media creation work, the computer just chews through everything you can throw at it. And on top of, so, you know, gaming performance is great. The productivity work performance is great. The, um, the portability with the handle, you could just take it to nearby LAN party. You're just going over to your homie's house over the weekend to play some video games together. Very easy to do, provided the friend has monitors and everything. So, um, you know, all of that ticks all the boxes in correct place. Inside, you know, you have an expansion uh, capability as well, uh, as far as just being able to add one. There is one slot, three and a half inch slot uh, for hard drive, which you can use for a couple different things. Uh, video card, you could upgrade uh, yourself later. A slew of ports on the back. So on the front, you have the uh, two USB 3.0 port and audio in audio out and on the back side you have the aforementioned the video card and then um usb ports generation to generation one ethernet another headphone jack in the back and little elastic rubber thing here for a uh, rudimentary cable management which actually is pretty good it's you know you may scoff at it but it's better than not having one because you could fish all the cables down below so um you know you have a reasonable amount of um reasonable ability to upgrade components as you go uh it looks great it looks clean um doesn't scream any garish gaming thing going on and um you know you could put this anywhere in your home office or office you know wherever and it won't look out of place the dark matte charcoal gray just looks sharp and the red uh, lighting when the computer is operational looks looks cool enough and yet not be disgusting if you ask me. So there you go. Um, I think the price point is uh, pretty sweet. Of course, you could go buy all the components yourself to build a computer yourself. At the same time, um, you know, all the work is already done here for you. Of course, there's a lot of fun in, you know, putting something together yourself, but you know, you don't have to deal with a lot of negative things coming from build your own. 
So, um, you know, price is sweet, the, the case is sweet. I wish they sell the cases separately. For me, I'm a casual gamer. I'm not a hardcore gamer. I, I, I run multiple businesses, so I don't have that kind of time. But it does tick all the boxes for me, even for, you know, a little bit more game enthusiasts than I would be. I believe the computer will fare just fine, even for those folks. And um, in early 2019, I think this is a good buy, good bang for buck kind of a proposition. All right, so that's it for this episode. And until next time, you guys all take care. Thanks for your time. Be a human.